differences between ordinary least square and generalized least square. OLS versus GLS. Ordinary least squares regression is a common technique for estimating coefficients of linear regression equations which describe the link between one or more independent quantitative variables and a dependent variable, simple or multiple linear regression. While the generalized least squares estimator of the coefficients of a linear regression is a generalization of the OLS estimator. In simple words, GLS is a method for fitting coefficients of explanatory variables that help to predict the outcomes of a dependent random variable. As its name suggests, GLS includes OLS as a special case. OLS method is also called as least squares method for regression or linear regression. While GLS is also called Aitken's estimator after AC Aitken 1935. Assumed distribution of residuals in OLS is E is similar to zero and product of variance and identity matrix. While assumed distribution of residuals in GLS is E is similar to zero and V which is variance due to random effects. Least square estimator of beta cap in OLS is equal to product of X power T, x into power minus 1 multiplied by product of x power t, y, while least square estimator of beta cap in GLS is equal to product of x power t, v minus 1 x into power minus 1 multiplied by product of x power t, y. Variance of beta cap in OLS is equal to product of x power t x into power minus 1 multiply by variance of error while variance of beta cap in GLS is equal to product of x power t, v minus 1x into power minus. Predicted veils of y cap in OLS is equal to product of x and beta cap. By putting value of beta we get y cap is equal to x multiplied by product of x power t x into power minus 1 multiplied by product of x power t y while predicted veils of y cap in GLS is equal to product of x and beta cap. By putting value of beta we get y cap is equal to x multiplied by product of x power t v minus 1 x into power minus 1 multiplied by product of x power t y. Variance of y cap in OLS is equal to x multiplied by product of x power t x into power minus 1 multiplied by product of x power t and variance of error while variance of y cap in GLS is equal to x multiplied by product of x power t v minus 1 x into power minus 1 further multiplied by x power t. Hypothesis testing in OLS is interpreted by t-test while hypothesis testing in GLS is interpreted by z-test. Model validity in OLS is analyzed by f-test while model validity in GLS is analyzed by chi-square test. It is assumed in OLS that is correlation of ui and xb does not equal to zero while it is assumed in gls that is correlation of ui and xb is equal to zero ols is used for homosedastic regressions such as y has the same variance for each x while gls is used for heteroscedastic regression different variances this is a form of weighted least squares if the deviations from the line are normally distributions, these give the best linear unbiased estimator, blue, if the weights are inversely proportional to the variances. GLS can also be used for correlated residuals. In statistics, OLS is a type of linear least squares method for choosing the unknown parameters in a linear regression model, with fixed level 1 effects of a linear function of a set of explanatory variables, by the principle of least squares, minimizing the sum of the squares of the differences between observed regress and values of the variable being observed in input dataset and the output of linear function of regressor. The values of alpha and beta are known as least squares coefficients, 
or sometimes as ordinary least squares coefficients or OLS coefficients. While, in statistics, GLS is a technique for estimating the unknown parameters in a linear regression model when there is a certain degree of correlation between the residuals in a regression model. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.